Hello and welcome back to your online lecture series with me again, Sir Ben, the Sir Instructor. So ngayon, ang pag-usapan natin is all about the special operation procedures, primarily itong tatlo. Yung rules na labor dispute, rallies and demonstration, tsaka civil disturbance management operation. Pero itong tatlo na to, magbo-boil down lang tayo sa pinaka-main idea on how this three handle. O yung pinaka-main idea or yung main gist, kung paano sila nag-ooperate. Okay? Kasi this special operation procedure is very lengthy in a sense na it would be very, very, very long to be discussed with kung i-discuss natin siya point by point. But then again, uh, hinanapan na natin siya ng main idea for you na at least every question na ibigay sa inyo, tatandaan nyo lang itong mga ituturo ko and you would be in line pa rin kung ano yung damang sagot or yung best answer in regards with answering itong special operation procedures natin. Ito sa tatlong to. Okay? So, pinaka-importante yung tatandaan nyo ito, yung legal parameters ng BP-880. Kasi yung BP-880, it is an a law, statute, na kung saan ensuring the free exercise by the people of their right of peaceably to assemble and petition government for other purposes. So, itong BP-880 kasi, under the declaration policy na itong section 2. Okay, masyado tayo mabilis. Sinasabi kasi sa constitutional right natin na binigyan tayo ng karapatan tayong mga uh, taong, taong bayan na makapag peaceably, ha? peace peace assemble or petition kung meron tayong sama ng loob laban sa gobyerno. Hinahayaan yan. Pwede yan. Okay? It is our right for freedom of speech. Nandiyan na rin. And syempre, yung right natin to publicly uh, publicly express. Okay? Para at least mabigyan ma pansin or mapansin ng gobyerno yung mga bagay na hindi nakikita. So, pinapayagan naman siya. Okay? Under BP-880. So, ito yung pinaka-legal parameters na yun. By giving the people na i-express yung sama ng loob nila. Kasi all of that thing, yung critical thinking na yan, ito na yun mismo, yung activism itself, it is essential. Sinasabi ko na sa inyo, it is essential. Okay? Kasi having the critics around the nation would help na makita even the tiny bits ng mali. Okay? With this kasi, at least mabibigyan ng attention kahit small or big na mga problems or issues to be redressed para mapansin. Okay? Kasi, syempre, there are things na pag kami nakikita na mali, it is our right naman na makapagsalita din for the government na, yun, to redress itong mga issues na to, mabigyan linaw o masolusyonan much better. Okay? So, it is essential, no? Sana all essential. Eh, kahit nga lugaw, essential. Ikaw na lang siguro yung hindi essential. So, wala. Yan lang talaga yung magagawa natin. Diba? Prayers na lang. Ngayon, sa BP-880, ang, ang dalawa natin dito ang tatandaan, ito. Public assembly, isipin mo sa citizen to. Ang public assembly, pag narinig mo, may rally, demonstration, may parada, procession, or any other forms of mass or concrete, concerted actions, rather, ng tao sa isang public place. Okay? presenting a lawful cause. Okay? So, yung, yung, yung inilalaban is may, sabi natin, karapatan pang tao. Di ba? Karapatan sa mga labor group. Okay? For nation building, ang kanilang pinapresenta. Okay? Dito sa public assembly natin, itong mga rallies natin. Ngayon, doon naman tayo sa PNP, ang kailangan at kailangan na kailangan nilang i-exercise. At all times sa ganito is, ito, ito, maximum tolerance. Okay? So, ikaw, kunwari, you are planning to be part of the civil disturbance. Nandiyan, sa mga rallies. It, it would be very difficult kung mismo sa sarili mo, hindi ka okay, ginaaway mo yung sarili mo, o yan, kahit sabihin natin isang tao, jawa mo pa lang, mainit na ulo mo, gano'n, mahirap na. Kasi dito, kung dadating ka talaga sa rally, maraming mockery na mangyayari. O kaya, mag-aasaran, mag-aganunan, diba? mga masasakit na words na pwede matrigger ka. Okay? Pero words na naman yon hindi mo dapat damdamin and maximum tolerance should always be there. Okay? Highest degree ng restraint ng ating military of police for peacekeeping na purposes. Okay? So, magkakaroon ng dispersal at the same time, pagka sinabi natin, may violate na sila dito sa BP-880. Okay? At the same time, naging violente sila. Yun. Magkakaroon na tayo ng pagpapatupad ng batas. Okay? Ngayon, applicable legal parameters para sa mga PNP natin under the operations manual. 
Okay? Pagka may rally, strike, demonstration, sabi na natin public assembly, at all times, kailangan si PNP maximum tolerance. Yan na mahirap at, at all times. Kailangan magtimpi, magpigil. Okay? Lalo na yung mga sinasabi masasakit ng salita na ganun. So, tibayan lang talaga ng loob. As much as they would be in line with BP880, walang magiging problema. Ia-allow siya. Okay? So, in such cases naman, meron naman din tayong exemption. Nagkaroon na unlawful aggression. Okay? Take note, unlawful aggression. Ang kailangan makita dito. Pagka nakita na yung unlawful aggression, dun lang po pwede na si PNP magbigay ng force. Tama ba? Hindi. Magbigay ng reasonable and necessary na force. Okay? Para makapanakit, para magano hindi. To prevent lang. O kaya iiwas, protectan lang ang sarili. Okay? So, yun si PNP. Kailangan. Na kailangan nila yung exercise palagi. Eh, hindi sa mga panakit, kundi protectan yung sarili nila. Prevent or repel. Hawiin mo lang. Diba? Next is yan. Employment ng tear gas and water cannon. Ito mga to, kumbaga last, ano na to eh, worst to worst scenario na to eh. At na makakapag-decide lang yan is yung ground commander. Okay? Kung siguro eh medyo may turmoil na, there is may medyo, it's getting really violent within the Uh, yung area or the public is getting an uprising and it doesn't look good. Diba? And the group commander with his discretion found out that he should employ itong tear gas and water cannons. He may. Basta with his great wise of discretion. So pwede. Pagka medyo na hindi na nagiging okay yung uh, yung mismong pag, pag de demo nila dun. Okay? Nakakapanakit na. Doon lang po pwede. To repel ha? To disperse. Yung parang ang pinaka, ano, ang pinaka main point. And last one is yung general rule natin. Hindi pwedeng arrestohin ng PNP yung leader, organizer, mga participant na mga nag-rally. Okay? Hindi pa pwede. At all times, salo na kung peaceful, peaceful naman, no arrest would be uh, done. Maliban na lang kung may violate na siya na... Under BP880, kaya meron na siya na-violate na sabihin natin under the RPC. Nakapanakit siya within, kaya outside na yun ng mismong purpose nila sa pagrarady or mismong purpose nila dun sa lawful na isinisigaw nila. Okay? So, doon pa pwede na magkaroon ng arrest. By that time lang, ha? By that time. Okay? Next would be, yan, policies. Okay, yung policies natin dito, Uh, yan. Ang policies natin dito is eto. Ang PNP should adhere sa code of conduct ng law enforcement official na inadapt natin mula sa UN General Assembly. Ta kung saan nakita rin naman natin siya sa pinaka general principle natin, unang-una nating rule in which that we would the PNP would always protect and uphold the constitution as well as yung human rights. Diba? Kaya nakita natin dito, respecting and protecting human dignity and nga, for peace and order purposes ang gusto natin gawin. And in the performance of duty nila, so performance ng duty nila, even though that they have their own weapons with them, limitado ang paggamit ng force. Okay? Limitado ang paggamit ng force. Hindi pwedeng mag-over, kailangan equal. Okay? Yung reciprocity, ng force from the other side would be equal. But at the same time, kahit pa paano, unlawful aggression is there. And equal pa rin yung ano natin to prevent and repel pa din. Okay? So, yun yung uh, maximum tolerance or at the same time, upholdings ni PNP at all times. Diba? Parang ang hirap. Di ba? Kasi syempre, tao lang din. Pero yun ang sinumpang tungkulin at kailangan nilang gawin. Okay? Ngayon, ang public assemblies and rallies, lalo na if you are here around Manila, may kita naman natin siya dito. So, meron mga freedom parks or private property. So, pagka magkaroon ng mga rally sa freedom parks, okay lang. At sa private property, okay lang as, as long as na merong consent ng may-ari ng private property. Walang permit. Okay? Kasi ang public demos natin o kaya public assemblies natin, may permit din na kailangan i-uphold. Pero this case, sa freedom parks at sa private property, walang permit na kailangan. Okay? Ngayon, pa pwede sila doon mag-exercise ng karapatan nila to express as long as na 
it would remain peaceful and it would not have any incidence of any violence against the other, di ba? As long as na hindi magiging violente, okay lang yan. Okay? Itong freedom parks natin, focus kayo dito sa freedom parks. Meron kasi tayo dito na katulad sa US na freedom speech parks, yung tinatawag nila. Sa freedom parks kasi, pwede ka doon mag-rally, pwede kang maglabas ng public grievances in order for you to exercise your right of grievances laban sa gobyerno. Okay? pa pwede naman yon para at least makita ni government this critics na tinatawag natin or activist na kung sa mabigyan pansin so tama naman kung lahat ng pinaglalaban nila is lawful but it is and the discretion pa rin ng gobyerno na kung papansin nila or they would rebut it with their own reasons on why ganto ganyan okay so examples ng freedom park natin na kung saan hindi kailangan ng ng permit na marami nagrarally kung nagtataka kayo Ito sa may LRT, sa may Liwasang Bonifacio. Yan, sa may Manila. Yan, pwede dyan. Hindi kailangan ng permit dyan. Kasi it is declared as a freedom park. etong Quezon Memorial Circle, ito medyo sikat talaga to Na nakikita ninyo na marami nagra-rally. So, hindi kailangan ng permits dyan kasi ito is tagged also as freedom park. Na kung saan pwede maglabas ng... May publicly express yung mga tao sa... grievances nila sa gobyerno. Okay? So, sa policies natin, ganun pa rin. Ang PNP ito, ah, ito yung nakakatuwa. Pero, siguro, there are some rallies na ganun. Pero, uh, itong mga rallies na to, pwede silang mag-ask sa PNP for assistance kung gusto nila lang magkaroon ng peace and order. So, pwede naman yon as long as na magre-request yung mga leaders nga nila or organizers etong public assembly sa PNP. At si PNP naman, would, syempre, would be delightful na to give assistance para tulungan sila dun sa rallies nila. Okay? Pero ang main goal or mandato nila dito is for peace and order lang. Okay? So, ang public assemblies na hinheld sa public place, hindi freedom park, hindi private property na consented, kailangan ng permit. Saan magre-request ng permit? The permit should be asked or requested sa ating mayor or yung municipality. na ayun, head mayor ng municipality, gano'n, over the jurisdiction, over the place. So, kailangan nila magbigay ng request or permit that they would be holding a public assembly at the same time, it should be a lawful purpose. Okay? So, dito yan. Next, sa number five natin, si group commander ang responsible at all times to determine whether or not yung permit, eh, kung kailangan ng permit or hindi kailangan ng permit. Okay? Kasi most probably, alam naman na nila yun kung saan yung kadalasan nagkakaroon na itong mga rallies and natutunogan din naman nila yun. Okay? Well, syempre, intelligence na rin. At the same time, nalalaman din na, naman nila. It's a public uprising naman. So, si group commander ang determiner if there would be, if whether or not, yun nga, that the permit is okay o hindi. Kailangan o hindi. Okay? So, ang mga public assembly... Meron man or wala, uh, it should remain be peaceful. Peaceful assembly, the same time, sige, they could publicly express their grievances. But at all times, they shouldn't hurt other people. Siyempre, sa PNP natin, hindi dapat sila makapanakit. Same time, sunugin yung mga properties within there. Pero kung sa kanila yung sinusunog nila, it's fine. Okay lang naman yun. So, di ba may nakikita tayo mga public demo nila na sila gumawa, sila rin nagsusunog kasi that's fine. Okay lang yun. Pero kung nagsunog na sila ng public property, that's a no-no. Hindi naman na pwede yun. Okay? So, in this in this part, yung public assembly, mapapermit man o wala, kung ma-violate nila yung penalty clause na nasa BP 880 natin, pwede silang hulihin or pwede din silang um, held as liable. Okay? etong lightning demonstration or etong mga lightning demonstration, ito yung mga lugar na biglaan ng mga rallies. na kung saan pinagbabawal yung mga gandong rally. Diba? Parang kung saan lang siya nalabas bigla. Lightning demonstration tawag doon. Okay? So, with that, ganun pa rin si PNP when, upon, when they are called upon itong civil disturbance natin is i-disperse pa rin sila peacefully. Okay? So, wala pa rin unnecessary force or too much force na i-employ. Okay? Yun yung lightning demonstration natin. Ibig sabihin, may bigla may nag na hindi naman lugar na pinag-aralihan, hindi naman siya freedom park, 
or ganon, lightning demonstrations ang tawag doon. Okay. Yan. Last one, nakita pa rin naman natin on the policies dito sa rallies and demonstration, maximum tolerance should always be uphold by the PNP. Okay? They shouldn't work against them sa mga nag-rallies. Okay lang naman yun kung ang binibigay nila is lawful. Lawful yung pinaglalaban. Walang problema. Walang problema to public express kasi they're exercising their rights. But at the same time, si PNP, kailan tatagal lang talaga yun of giving this maximum tolerances. Okay? Kailan mag-exercise nito maximum tolerance. And the such thing na magkakaroon lang ng dispersal if sila na mismo, yung other side yung magpa-violate na BPA or, or maging violente sila in a such sense. Pero kailangan pa rin yung pag-disperse sa nila is in a right way, peaceful way. Okay? Hirap, no? So, kung ikaw sa jowa mo, diba, ma mainitay na ulo mo, mahirap. Mahirap maging PNP personal kasi isang napakalawak at napakahabang pasensya ang kailangan mong ibigay, lalo na sa mga ganito, mga ganitong operations. Okay? Lalo na you would hear certain words, di ba? So, kailangan talaga tatagan lang ang loob, di ba? Mga ad homes ng mga attacks, di ba? Yeah, limitations ng role ng PNP. So, ang PNP, ang mandato, katulad ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, is for them to maintain peace and order at every public assemblies. Okay? Kailangan may peace and order lang sila. Hindi sila yung magiging active na papalisin ka agad. It's okay kasi meron nga tayong batas na pinapayagan sila. As long as, ayun nga, kung, kung Freedom Park, okay lang. Kung wala naman, may permit sila, pwede sila mag -rally. Okay? Kasi karapatan naman nila yun eh. So, ang, ang PNP nandun lang for maintenance ng peace and order and... Most likely, it would be held by a ground commander na police senior inspector ang rango at nakastation sila from there do sa mismong pinag-aralian nila 100 meters away do sa area of activity nila. Okay? Ganun kalayo ang inano nila. Pero pagka lumalapit na sila, sabihin natin papunta sila sa gantong uh, building, diba? palapit sila ng palapit, hindi naman nuurong si PNP kung sila naman ang lumapit yung other. Okay? So, ang kailangan lang ma-maintain is yung 100 meters away from the area of activity at the same time, yung, yung layo din ng mga rallyista doon sa, sabi natin, sa may uh, building na pinupuntaan nila, mga kadalasan sa mga US Embassy, mga ganyan, ganyan nila. Kasi kailangan protektahan din yung uh, mga establishment diba? from unnecessary na mga dumi, ganun, mga graffitis na iniiwan. So, yun yun. Okay. So, dito sa guidelines natin, ang ating CDM or Civil Disturbance Management Contingent at all times should be prescribed uniform nila is this one. May helmet din itong fiberglass na shield na napakabigat. Mga around 5 kilos, mga ganyan. Then, yung suot nila, meron silang shin guard na nakalagay sa may shins nila. May binte. Then, at the same time, yung gamit nila, hindi sila nagamit na may nameplate na, na uniform. Ang ginagamit nila is yung naka-name cloth lang, nakaburda ng mga uniform. But at the same time kasi, syempre, pwedeng mahablot yun. Diba? Ma masira yung uniforms nila. Okay, so ito yung uh, pinaka-prescribed uniform nila in ito mga gantong rallies and demonstrations. Okay? So again and again, itong tear gas, smoke grenades, cannons, itong mga anti-lethal weapons na to na ginagamit na magdedetermine si ground commander at gagawin lang yan, magdedetermine lang yan ni ground commander kung masasabi niya na may actual violence or serious threat na yung nandun sa paligid. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung pinaka-main gist ng ating topic for today in regards to the special operation procedure. So, there, I really do hope that you understand that the special operation procedures natin should always be in line with BP-8800. 8 BP-8 sa ating BP ulit na natin okay. 
So, yan. I really do hope that you have understand this one na it's okay for activists to publicly express themselves. Kaya kahit naman tayo, it's okay. It's it's fine for us to express ourselves kasi karapatan naman natin yun. At the same time, it should be peaceful at all times and syempre, it's lawful. May nakita naman tayong mali and the government na syempre, oo, oh, oh, kailangan nilang pansinin yun. And in rallies and demonstrations at all times, kailangan malaman whether or not there is a permit or not. Kasi kung walang permit, kung nasa Freedom Park, okay lang. And yes, the PNP likewise should always exercise yung kanilang uh, maximum tolerance. And yes, it's a mutual relationship with the rallyista and the PNP and having this one. Diba? Upholding pa rin our constitution. So I really do hope that you've learned so much in this online lecture series. And again and again, uh, I'll see you again on the next episode. So stick around, guys.